Hi there, RCP Band. This is Mr. Brown with our very first week of online assignments. This week I decided to keep it really simple. We're going to play one song out of the Measures of Success book. And that song is, wait for it, High School Cadets. It's in Opus 4 in your book. So, I'm going to talk through this song and we're going to analyze a few things to give you some tools to practice at home. Let's take a look at High School Cadets, 4.14. Here's High School Cadets. This comes out of the trumpet book. Now yours is going to look a little different, of course, probably. First thing we want to look at is the key signature. The key signature for trumpets and also for clarinets and tenor sax is two flats. If you're a flute player or trombone or looking at the bell part, you have four flats. If you're an alto sax player, you have one flat. So this song is in A flat major. Before you start practicing, I want you to warm up with the concert A flat major scale. It's on page 51 in your book. We've done this before. It's not our easiest scale we've done, but it's really important to review the scale so when you start playing the song, your fingers are going to be hitting the right notes. You're going to get those flats from the key signature. Next, let's look at the rhythm. I see that this song is in 2-4 time, which means there are two beats to every measure. We're going to be counting 1, 2, 1, 2. I do see a lot of eighth notes in here, so actually we're going to subdivide 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and. Think the eighth notes as you're counting. Now take a look at those first two eighth notes of the song. Those are pickup notes. Those come in starting on count two. So really, those are count two and. When I count you off, I'm going to say one, two, one. Two and. You're going to play two and. Looking ahead, I see that this song has a first and second ending system in it. So as we play along the first time, you're going to notice we get to the first ending. When you play through the first ending, how do you know when to repeat? Well, you look for the repeat sign. Where does it repeat back to? Not really to the beginning. We look for the forward-facing repeat sign. The second time we play through it, we're looking for the second ending. So you skip ahead. <clears throat> to the second ending. There it is right there. And you play to the end. We call that the roadmap of the song. Let's try counting through the rhythm of the whole song. This song happens to be in march tempo, which is 120 beats per minute. That's too fast for our first time talking through the rhythm. I'm going to set my metronome to 60 beats per minute. <coughs> so see if you can keep up with me as I count the rhythm. One, two, one. Two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one. Two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one. And two and one, and two and one. Two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one and two and one. How'd you do? If that was hard for you, rewind the video and see if you can follow my rhythm. It's really important to be able to smoothly count and say the rhythm. Now, I went easy on you. This is in March tempo. March tempo is 120 beats per minute. Let me get my metronome up to 120 and I'll count through it. The hardest part actually is getting those arrows on the screen as I say it. We'll see how I do. Here's the beat. That's really fast. Hope you can hear that. It goes like this. One, two, one. Two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, 
two and one, two and one and two and one and two and one. If you could play it that fast, I would be very impressed. Start really slow and get a little bit faster. You do not need to learn it at full march tempo. Okay, just uh, learn it at any old tempo. Now, if you're a percussionist, I want you to learn it on bells, but it would be great if you could learn it on snare drum. This is what the percussion part looks like, everybody. Now, if you're not a percussionist, we're going to be talking about the snare drum part. The snare drum part is on this third space here. That's the only rhythms I'm looking at here. And I see a lot of sixteenth notes. Sixteenth notes are counted one e and a, two e and a, one e and a, two e and a. Let me quickly talk you through the snare drum part. As I'm getting my metronome ready, I notice it says RHL, that means right hand lead. You're going to start with your right hand. Okay, drummers, let me talk through this rhythm at quarter note equals 60 on my metronome. <clears throat> it goes like this. Still there are pickups. One, two, one, two, and one, and a two, and, and a two, and one, and a two, and a one, and and two, one, and a two, and, and a two, and one, and a two, and a one, and two, one, and a two, and, and a two, and one, and a two, and a one, and two, one, and a two, and, and a two, and one knee, and a two, e and a one. How'd you do? Go ahead, rewind the video, and follow along. I would love to hear some of you percussion players leave me, uh, leave me that, that snare drum part on my message. And that's our song for the week. So now that you've watched the video, your job is to learn the song at home. Don't give up. Do your best. And once you feel like you know the song, you're going to perform it for me. So send me a video or leave me a message on my voicemail. And until next time, happy practicing!